Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to show you a simple workflow in Kung Fu UI that can swap multiple faces in a group photo. Let's dive in and see how it works. The whole setup is surprisingly simple. Just two main node groups doing the heavy lifting. Here's my original group shot with five people. I've uploaded five reference headshots too. The cool part, this workflow can handle unlimited faces. It doesn't use extra video memory because it swaps faces one by one. First, let's check out the final result. See how all faces are cleanly swapped? Pretty smooth, right? Now, how close do these new faces match our originals? Let's put them side by side for comparison. The resemblance is pretty impressive, right? Next, I'll walk you through how this workflow works, step by step. We start here with a beatbox detector node. This detects all the faces in your uploaded image and makes segmentations for each one. Check out this preview. It lines up all five detected faces neatly. This video guide is super helpful because it shows the exact order to upload your reference headshot. Just match the bottom row headshots to the top row faces position by position. See these nodes below? They automatically crop each face into squares. Right now, there are five sets. Perfect for our five person photo. If your group shot has fewer people, just delete action node sets. Let's look at a quick example. If your photo has just three people, you only need three headshots. The final output will reflect this. Before running, you just need to delete or add node sets based on your group shot. Remember, always adjust your node sets to match your group size. There's another critical settings here. See this for loop start node? Its total parameter must match your person count. For us, that's five. Every loop needs an endpoint. Here's our for loop end node. Everything between this becomes the repeating loop body. This loop processes faces left to right, following our preview order. Here's where the magic happens. The loop kicks off with this mask from batch node. The index starts at zero. This index goes into the start port of that node, selecting the first face mask. Then the detect faces and the crop faces node find and the crop that face. Next comes the key trick. We stitch this cropped face besides this reference headshot using image concat with mask. Why? Because this side by side pairing is how ACE plus portrait lawyer works. Putting reference left and a target right gives better face consistency. If you are new to this technique, I've used this LoRa in lots of my workflows. Feel free to check out my older videos for more info. The image for side-by-side -side placement is the first image in the batch. Since the index is zero and the gas passed into the image from batch node, the image you see here isn't the first one anymore because the loop has already run. The second node group handles the actual face swap. Thanks to our loop, all five faces get processed through just one inpaint model conditioning node and a 1K sampler. Without looping, you'd need duplicate nodes for every face. Imagine 10 sets for 10 people. Let's run part of this live. Watch. First, it grabs face one from the group shot, pairs it with reference one, stitches them. Now swapping, and down. Phase 2 crops out, peers with reference 2. Processing, down. Same for the male face here.
And finally, the last phase. Boom, all swapped in one clean loop. So that's how we use Confluence loop power to swap group shots efficiently. Got suggestions or cool ideas? Drop them in the comments. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more.